that once again today you will descend and heal the sick. Once again today you will empower those who need your presence. Help us to understand you even better. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I request everyone to be silent except those who are happy. If you are happy, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Are you very happy to be here today? Yes. It, it is the working of the Lord. It is by His power that we are here to worship Him. And I want you to see yourself as one that God has ordained for that purpose. Amen. You have to speak to your heart that I am not going to leave this place until God gets what he wants from me. Just like Jacob told God, I am not going to surrender until you bless me. I also want you to bless the name of the living God this morning. He designed it in a way that through you, he may get what he wants. Will you deny him the joy of his presence? Will you make our God happy in his throne of grace? Please shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You know, in the presence of God, there are those who make him sad. And there are those who make him happy. How do you choose to make him? Uh -huh. What did you say? I say there are people who make God sad. Do you know at one time in history, God regretted that he created man. Yes. And at another time in history, God became very happy. Yes. And he said, this is my beloved son, yes. with whom I'm well pleased. Yes. A man can make God to regret, and another man can make God happy. I pray that you choose to be that that makes God very happy. The heart of God can be grieved. The heart of God can be saddened. And to the extent that it makes God to regret having created you because he created you to make him happy. Make it a decision in yourself that you make God happy. Not just today, but all the days of your life. Yeah. I pray to my father that all the days of my life, God can speak of me as he said to David. This is the man after my own heart. Yeah. And they say to the son of David, this is my son. He said to the son of David, this is my son with whom I'm well pleased. God can speak the same words to you this morning. Because God is not a respecter of persons. If you do what those who pleased him did, he will still be pleased with you. May your faith bring joy to God today in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May I request you to sit in the presence of God. I desire that the days I live, there will be days that will make God to hurt me more days. Amen. You know when you, when you keep making God happy. He keeps 
adding you more days. Amen? Amen. Now, as a believer, you must learn to acknowledge God's name. Now our topic this morning is the advantage of acknowledging God's name. Faida ya kutambua jina la Mungu. The advantage of acknowledging God's name. Praise God. Hallelujah. The advantage of acknowledging God's name. Now in Psalms 34 verse 19. Psalms 34 and verse 19. The Bible says a righteous man may have many troubles. But the Lord delivers him from all of them. Verse 17 of the same chapter 34. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. If you are facing any trouble this morning, turn and become righteous. Then cry to God. He will deliver you from all of them. One of the reasons why God never delivers people is because they are not the way they are supposed to be. God does not deliver people. He delivers the righteous. When people cry, God is not touched. But when the righteous cry, God is touched. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Praise him again. He delivers them from all their troubles. That is verse 17. The righteous cry out. And the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. That means the righteous can face trouble. But when a righteous man faces trouble, a recommendation is made. That don't keep silent when you're facing trouble. Cry out. And don't cry out to men. They will add you more trouble. Cry out to God. Don't cry to men. Most men are the channel and the source of trouble. And when you cry to them, they top up the trouble. Every righteous man, the Bible says they can face many troubles. In verse 19, Psalms 34. But what should a righteous man do when he faces trouble? Let him not be silent. Say, I will not be quiet. I will not be quiet. Say it again. Say like you mean it. I will not be quiet. Now shout it. I will not be quiet. Say I will become a Batimah of this time. I will become a I will cry to the son of David. I will cry to the son of David. And I will say. I will say Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. May the Lord shower you with mercies from above. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. That means when a righteous man does not cry, God does not hear. For God to hear you, you must cry. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. A 
righteous man is a man that acknowledges God. A man that acknowledges God's name. What is the meaning of acknowledging God's name? That you know God cannot be defeated. You know he is all powerful. You know he will do it. You know he will not fail. You know he has what it takes. He is your father. No matter what happens, you know he will surely do it. Even if people laugh at you and they tell you he has delayed, you stand firm and say he will do it. <laughs> it doesn't matter how long a righteous man waits. God cannot tarry and he cannot disappoint you. You know. <laughs> Something might be going on in your life right now. You are, you are, you are looking at, at the future. And you are seeing calamity. Let me tell you, your father is alive. You are already afraid facing the future. Move to the future. You are a redeemer, leave it. Be encouraged this morning. Be empowered. When you are righteous and you stand, you will face the trouble. But when you cry out, he will listen. Your father is my father. Yeah. I stand here as a living testimony. Yeah. I cried out, he listened to me. He's going to hear your cry and he will respond. Yeah. When, when God responds to rescue you, he thunders your enemies. <laughs> May, may you be seated in the presence of my father. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can you say, I will, I will shout to him? I will cry to my father. For I know he will hear me. Listen, the Bible says, God has hears, and hears are not deaf. He can listen to every righteous person. Make effort to stand right before him. Praise God. In Psalms 91 and verse 14, the Bible gives the advantage of acknowledging God. Psalms chapter 91 and verse 14, the Bible says, Because he loves me, this is God speaking, because he loves me. Do you love the Lord? How many of you love the Lord? Are you sure? Yes. Listen to what will happen to you. Says the Lord, I will rescue him and I will protect him. Yeah. He could have said, I will protect him and rescue him. But he says, I will rescue him. In other words, he's my righteous. He is in a problem, but he loves me. So what am I going to do? I will rescue him. And after rescuing him, I will ensure that his future will be protected. Listen, he says, I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. For he acknowledges my name. One of the things that is going to cause a distinction between you and the rest is that when you acknowledge his name, everyone will see how God will rescue you. They will see how he will protect you. They will see how he will, he will make you successful. Listen, don't look at your condition now. The condition you are facing now has been done by your enemies and by the devil. And your future is God is going to intervene and is going to change the situation. <laughs> I can see the intervention of God in Jesus' name. When you are a righteous person, you don't look at your current. Say, I will not look at my current. I look at my future. Please tell your neighbor you have a brighter future. A better future. A better future. Do you believe that? Yes. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The future is better. Hallelujah. It is only a believing fool that will look at the present. Every believer knows that the Bible says God has a good plan for you. A plan to give you a better future. Ah, 
You still have a future. Anybody that said you are dying tomorrow is a lie. <laughs> it is a lie. You are going nowhere until you see the power of God. In Psalms 22 verse 22, listen to me now. The Bible says, I will declare of your name before the congregation. I will speak of your greatness before my brothers. I can see you coming here again with a powerful testimony. After the devil has stepped on you, he has stepped on your children. You pray for them. You see they are changing. The next day they are not changing. A time is coming when you will give a testimony that is everlasting. And it is not going to be far. Every time God makes a promise, he says, I am not going to tarry. I will do it soon. Hallelujah. Everyone is standing here this morning. You, shall, you will not die before you see the manifestation, the manifestation of God. Some of the things that are happening to your life and in your family, it is the devil wanting you to commit suicide. It's the devil wanting you to give up. But I've come to tell you, don't give up. God is going to give in. Don't give up. Look at your pastor. A lot has happened, but I have not given up because God is in me. God is in me. Ah, the more the devil intensified, the more I have seen our deliverance take another dimension, the more I see God doing a lot of things. Jehovah is my father, he is your God. No matter what they say, we know one of the reasons why I can never give up is because God has already given in. Who am I to give up in the presence of God? He's our Father. We came here this morning to acknowledge His name, declare His name. Even the limited that you're able to see, speak about it. He is our great God. Yes. Please lift up your hands and tell him, Father, I will never give up. Just as you pray that prayer, the Spirit will come and comfort you. Just say, Father, I will not give up. I know your presence is plenty. Your power is around. You are available for me. Jesus, I will not give up. I will not give up. I refuse this morning to give up. Ninakata kufamoyo. My Father and my God, thank you for your mercies are new every morning. Have mercy on us. Let us receive your favor. Let us be encouraged because of your presence. We are sure you will surely deliver us. We bless your children. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.